Gentlemen, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 quarterfinal between Hedgick and Top Speed. We got Hedgick starting in the upper left hand corner as the white Zerg upper right hand corner. We got Zazu, aka Top Speed, starting as the blue Zerg. I believe this is on retro. And this one goes out to long term friend of the channel, Skin Crawler, for reasons previously discussed. Game one was incredibly intense. Could have gone any other way, but Hedgick able to find ways, in particular, picking off the extractor was a brilliant stroke to equalize things right now it looks like Zazu is going to end up with the advantage as he's got that overlord making its way top left Hedgek has that overlord making its way to the bottom left hand corner this is a four player map so oftentimes in three player maps you know where to send that overlord otherwise in the and you can kind of do that that uh I feel like this maps like this actually discourage nine pool more than anything when you have the four because it's a huge risk because with a three player map that overlord hits location you know where to send the zorglings if nothing's there but in the meantime we're seeing extractor first potentially let's see if this is a cancellation it looks like it is going to in fact be straight up extractor and it looks like it's not going to be an overpool it's going to be a straight up risky nine pool from hedgick dropping the extractor as well so as I say that, so this is big risk on Hedgek's part. The Zergling, and oftentimes this goes unexpected. This could punish Zazu. We'll have to see. Because usually the follow-up to this is in fact the, yeah, you got the spawning pool. But this is to, I believe this build, what that fast extractor is to go to lair as rapidly as possible. And oftentimes try to catch your opponent off guard and end up with a superior air force on the ground. And it plays pretty well against... So we got the, the six Zerglings initially built. And here's the thing. The spawning pool is just about halfway finished. And I don't know that Zazu is going to build Zerglings in response to this. It's possible to kind of to potentially disguise the build. He still might save up minerals to go for a natural expansion. We'll have to see. I need to brush up on my ZVZ openers because there's little off ones like this that are pretty critical. And it looks like this is going to be a dedication to Zerglings. So we'll see how this plays out. If if Zazu is able to defend... So the, part of the problem for Hedgek right this second, you can see him pocketing the Zerglings to the bottom left-hand corner. The Overlord revealing itself, though, is going to give Hedgek the information he needs, which is send the Zerglings top right. He's also hidden the numbers along that corner, so he's moving out of the way of the Overlord. So just a few Zerglings might have... We'll see if the information is there. Faster lair... But now Zazu needs to produce Zerglings in a hurry. He does have a ramp to work with, but he's not going to have large numbers to work with. This could be disaster. And we have an in-base second hatchery. Honestly, I don't know that this is going to be in time. So four Zerglings to try to defend against twice that number. It is going uphill and is a closer reinforcement point. Hedgek delayed a little bit. He needs to get a move on. The Zergling's having trouble and actually that might have bought the time he needed. Maybe he's waiting for Zergling speed. Now moving up. Trying to force his way in. Do we have a sunken colony being built? No sunken colony behind this and this is plenty of Zerglings to decimate the front now. That's unfortunate. So it might be a, a quick second win for Hedgek. Hedgek Wandering around the perimeter, some additional Zerglings being built, working on the spawning pool, sees the lair complete. And the Zerglings, as they're spawning, and they're, oh, delayed mining as well, the Zerglings, as they're spawning, spawning into a fight. However, if the second hatchery completes, Zazu might be in an okay position. He's drawing several drones off the line because he does have the drone advantage right this second. But several of them, nice defense, actually able to peel a lot of them off and clear a lot of the threat. There's only four Zerglings remaining. Some more are moving across to go ahead and group up and get another shot. Second hatchery up. So now, Zazu, if he can just make a bit of an attack force and work with the surface area he's got, speed also finished, which is huge, might be able to repel this attack. More Zerglings are making their way this direction, but Hedgek needs to score some damage here as slowly, and he needs to keep forcing those drones off the line because slowly he's falling behind because you've got that three drone advantage and you also have these additional larvae to work with in between. However, Spire is in fact going up in the midst of this. Zazu in his defenses has not been able to get a Spire down himself, so Hedgek continuing to apply that pressure. Still working on that spawning pool here and there to force the fights. 
better concavity, I believe, for Zazu right there. So getting a better initial fight. And right now, Hedgek going ahead and retreating, regrouping with the Zerglings in field. Another swarm of Zerglings being built on Zazu's side. So Zazu, despite the three worker advantage, he also hasn't been mining gas in the midst of this. Despite having that larva advantage, isn't able to swarm. And I think Hedgek now, recognizing that he's got that spire building shortly, just has to create an inverted Zergling containment against the potential larva. And if he can just get a Mutalisk out, of, out in position here and hold the ramp, he will end up victorious. So Spire finishes. All he needs is that one Mutalisk. He's going to try to probably build two. He just needs one Mutalisk here out to the front. And Zazu needs to hurry up and get, oh man, get a breakthrough. But two Zerglings abusing... The disparity and continue to, to force economic damage to slew Zergling getting built. An evolution chamber for potential defense as well. Scourge being built. That actually surprises me. And a second in-base hatchery from Hedgek. And some drones actually drilling to the low ground. Able to great, get great disruption on the Zerglings. And now all of a sudden it is a sweep the other direction. What a turn of events. Sunken Colony finished for Hedgek. The Scourge making their way forward, maybe to hunt down an Overlord, or at least provide some scouting. So Overlord down. Zazu in the red. Well, supply blocked, I should say. Right this second. The Zerglings flooding in with their superior numbers with that Larva. And Hedgek now trying to save as many drones as he possibly can. It's 8 versus 8 right this second. The Mutalus does in fact spawn. No drones dead yet. And the Mutalisks providing a superior defense. It looks like that sunk colony is going to, no, barely fall. No, it stands with two health. Are you kidding me? Two health. And a Mutalisk's now making its way across the map. The sunk colony doesn't have a lot left. So the Zerglings do need to provide some time. They might be able to distract. So yeah, they're trying to engage. That's still a decent army. There's another flood and there's a defensive spore actually so that mutalist is not going to provide sufficient defense that sunken colony now down the zerglings engaging with the drones able to defend so right now hedgek with the air advantage plus one drone but the larva advantage and the zergling count advantage heavily in zazu's favor and i don't know that the single mutalist is going to be sufficient actually two mutalists in the air i don't know that's going to be sufficient to defend all this territory zazu peeling forward drones down Drones again scattering, so despite the superior drone count, Hedgek not finding time to mine, so he's not able to utilize that drone advantage. The Mutalists trying to do what they can, the Extractor being worked on, the Zergling staying on top of the drones, and they've managed to get sufficient kills to actually even things up both directions. Spire now on the way, more Zerglings making their way across the map. And there haven't been additional defenses for Hedgek, so Zazu continuing to apply pressure. The drones still haven't gotten time to mine. They're still taking damage. Hedgek's been sitting at 38 minerals for quite some time. Now, all of a sudden, Zazu with the economic lead. And I assume he knows it. Working on Spire himself. Pocket of Zerglings mid-map. Mid so we got six workers left. Seven on the opposite side. One being left on gas. An evolution chamber, solid air defense with that spore colony, and I believe that covers the hatchery as well. So I would give the advantage to Zazu, despite the spire being up in field. The one shift in this would have been if an overlord was at a position where it could have gone picked off, but it looks like both overlords are in fact covered by that spore. Mutalisks and Zerglings holding the ramp right now for Hedgek. He's trying to balance. He is up an overlord. He's now up a drone. He's got a lot of ground to cover, though. To work his way back into this, Zazu also has an immense amount of gas, but he is hurting for resources. In fact, he probably needs to rebalance the drone count off gas to get enough. He's got plenty of gas right this second. He needs to get Mutalisks up in the air, so maybe he wants to pull some drones off that gas to get minerals so he can get an air fleet up. In the meantime, a slew of Zerglings making their way crossed. Keep in mind that they don't attack up. So the Mutalists still will be sufficient. In fact, they're going to go ahead and draw back to try to engage. It looks like 10 drones versus 10. Is Zergling able to get in the mineral line and create some damage right there? Some additional damage of the Zerglings. Going to keep that pressure on. Zazu actually down about four supply in the midst of this, but able to pick off another drone. Not quite able to get the second one, though. Hedgek slowly climbing back into this. 
Zazu not making it easy for him, keeping that Zergling active. Scourge being built on both sides. Looks like the Mutalist count is starting to fill in for Zazu. He's all of a sudden, though, down four drones. Single Zergling also hanging out at the 12 o'clock location in case Hedgek was going to sneak a third. Also might be an opportunity to do a potential run by. Overlord's trying to cover the area to figure out where their opponent is. The Zergling making his way in. They, it has been spotted by the Scourge. Counter Scourge making the way in to try to reset the air fleet on the opposite side. The Zergling trying to draw the Mutalisks in, and it looks like that is going to be successful. Hedgek trying to draw back using his own Scourge to try to open things up, but all of his Mutalisks in flight. Overlords were not exposed currently to take that out. Let's see if we see a redraw of those Scourge once they spot. A nice turnaround attack. However, one Mutalisk was picked off. Sazu still down four workers, but I believe he has an equivalent army. Another Mutalisk takes a big hit right there and some Zerglings starting to field their way out now that those Mutalisks are occupied. Single Mutalisk on the opposite side. Are we seeing some Mutalisks finally fill in on the opposite side for Zazu? It looks like we are seeing them being constructed. He might want to utilize these Zerglings to draw the Mutalisks out rather than pushing them in. I think this might be wasted resources right here. Although I take it back, they're able to get into the drone line. One drone down. But was that worth it? We'll see. A couple Zerglings. Oh, never mind. He got some additional drone kills in between all of that. More Scourge making their way out. Hedgek, sizable supply lead. So sizable air army in comparison. Zerglings running their way across. They're getting picked off opposite side. Solid defense here from Zazu. Hedgek felt like he had the resources to drop. He also, in the midst of that, gets a good look at the Mutalist count to see where he's at in that war. So two Mutalisks versus... Where are the rest of the Mutalisks? Looks like they're drawing to the bottom left. They're trying to find overlords that might be stranded in open field. The Scourge might have an opportunity as well. Are they going to be able to pick off... They're trying to chase down Mutalisks. I'm wondering if they might draw back and just go after an overlord at this stage. Yeah, they can just turn around and go for the overlord to try to equalize things. Zerglings making their way across to maybe open things up. Hedgek doing a great job of microing and taking those Scourge out, so that's going to be potentially wasted gas for Zazu. Zerglings holding underneath that Overlord at 12 o'clock. Try to look at where we're at as far as Mutalisk versus Mutalisk. It looks like Hedgek is currently up one with more queued up. He hasn't started plus one armor as of yet. So this is still razor thin margins, and the Overlord's starting to draw away from that Spore Colony, which could be dangerous. In a reset situation, the Mutalisks trying to find Overlords in midfield. The Zerglings getting picked off at the 12 o'clock location in the meantime. Not a lot Zazu can do about it. He's now down 10 supply and 2 workers. Not out of it yet, but things are starting to shift into Hedgek's favor. They were before, but it just felt so razor thin. I'm not even sure I wanted to call it precisely an advantage. Right now, though, Superior Air Fleet. Temporary Supply Block. In the course of things, some Zerglings moving forward. Are they... Uh, yeah, a few of them get picked off. Are they going to draw the Mutalisks back, however? The rest of the Mutalisks diving in. And keep in mind, this these Overlords right here might be a prize in, of, in and of themselves. This is not the best fight for Hedgek underneath the Spore Colony. The Scourge able to get a lot of hits. And this might turn into a bad situation. Yeah, it ends up losing some of his air fleet for free. Trying to turn around and get some splash damage. But this is now a turnaround opportunity. Trying to engage heads up now at a closer reinforcement point and is end up ending up resetting his entire army. The Zerglings now sprinting in underneath this. That is going to delay some additional mining and pick. It looks like I believe a drone or two have now been picked off. So Hedgek making the best out of a bad situation. He's still maintaining a sizable economic lead, but his air fleet is dismal right this second. He's only got, looks like the three Mutalisks out. He's still trying to hunt Overlord's Somewhere mid-map, I believe. And now we got the counterattack from Zazu in the form of both Zerglings and Mutalists. That's going to be a free Overlord kill to the north. Not that Hedgek needs to worry about that. He lost so many Mutalists. He's got plenty of supply. But is he going to be able to repel this? Trying to get a Desperation Creep Colony and a Sunken, potentially, to, to stabilize. He does have a few Zerglings in between here, but he can't full-on full engage. Dropped his own Evolution Chamber. It looks like it's a Spore Colony 
to try to deal with the air fleet. The Scourge trying to buy time, but the Zerglings are now attacking underneath for Zazu, while the Mulusks are occupied. That's forcing additional Mulus back. So Zazu winning on two fronts, potentially, and getting some additional damage, although Hedgek's still up a number of drones. And with that Spore, that Spore was critical, actually, able to equalize things. Hedgek needs to fall back to the defensive position of that Spore. That Evolution Chamber is open, and that's allowing some Splash to hit a lot of troops. And there's also some drones. Yeah, and now all of a sudden Zazu, with the first drone lead of the match, shows you what a superior air army can do in ZVZ. And still expose surface area to get some additional splash done. A second spore colony going down. Some lone zerglings running the way across to maybe try to force something opposite direction. Taking down that evolution chamber will negate additional spores. And Zazu still able to get some additional drone kills along that corner edge. Well played. Two zerglings making their way in. Easily intercepted there by Zazu. Some zerglings just trying to buy some time in the meantime. The, an overlord is spotted here at the 12 o'clock. And that might be a good suicide opportunity, but man, Hedrick's in dire straits. 19 supply versus 35, opposite corner. I would just suicide and take that, or just try to take that Overlord. Maybe use, try to use the Scourge as a screen, because that's all you're going to get out of this. Do what you can, and then try to evacuate as best you can. So, two base versus two base, two drone lead for Zazu, and a sizable supply lead. Nearly double what Hedrick is fielding. Still no upgrades on Mutalisk's uh, either edge. Overlord's trying to scramble to the bottom left-hand corner for Hedrick. Going far enough, they would be too far out of position to allow a counterattack opposite side. Zazu going back to work on that corner. Also trying to draw those Scourge out to potentially get a shot. He is eating an occasional Spore shot here. Evolution Chamber down. Not quite able to engage. The Zergling's now running forward underneath this. So, Air Army versus Air Army, and Zazu just has too much. The Zerglings finally attacking forward with what's left. It looks like they have found a drone right there, working on the Northern Spore. And that might be it, because Zazu, with these Zerglings working on these Spore Colonies, there's not going to be sufficient health to stop the Mutalisks, and that's going to open up the entire base now of Hedgek. And the Zerglings will be able to take care of the Zerglings on the ground, but I don't see any Scourge being produced. We, do had, we did have armor upgrading, but that's not going to be sufficient at this stage. So that will be GG. And we move on to a game three. Each player has a win apiece. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.